647 here this Monday. Your top headlines in our Smart Start, starting with the breaking developments we're following on multiple fronts. The mass shooting Sunday night at Maplewood Park. Seven people were shot there. At least one victim in their 20s was killed. Iran Spitzer joins us live from the park, where RPD has been stationed now for more than 12 hours. Iran. Yeah, Brennan, there is still a police presence here. The park remains closed as to how long that'll last. We're not quite sure just yet. As you mentioned, seven people shot. One of those people is dead. And here's some video of what this scene looked like last night when our News 8 team crew was on scene. Police responded to the park just before 6.30 p.m. for reports of a large gathering with shots fired. Several police agencies rushed to the park, including Iran Decoit Police, Monroe County Deputies, and New York State Police. RPD has confirmed a party was going on at the time of the shooting. Both, both Captain Greg Bellow of RPD and Rochester Mayor Malik Evans emphasizing this is still very early on in the investigation and calling on the community for help. A lot of people flee the scene. If something like this happens, first thing they do is jump in their car, they run, they jump in their car, they get out of here, and then they, they, they kind of circle back, holy cow, this is, I, I, what did I just see? And those are the people that say, that we're encouraging, don't say, wow, I just went through this. No, it should be, wow, I was just there when seven people got hurt, one got killed. I need to call 911. I need to email major crimes. I need to call Crime Stoppers, and I need to help them solve that, this crime, because this isn't acceptable. This is a tragedy, what happened here today. Uh, early, early in the day, we're talking uh, 620, when families are out having a good time in the park, and we had this tragedy, the shooting. Neighbors do say that they are shocked that something like this has happened and they, they've never seen anything like this happen before. As, of course, authorities say that if you have any information, you should call 911. You can do so anonymously. Reporting from Maplewood Park, Aran Spitzer, News 8. Aran, thank you. Staying with our breaking updates, the teen from Rochester arrested after police say they were nearly hit by stolen cars this morning. This was on Nellis Park, where two officers were already there working a stolen vehicle case. This car was found at the scene. And then two other stolen cars drove very fast at them. The officers were able to dodge out of the way. One vehicle crashed into a tow truck. Two people inside ran off after getting out. The two suspects inside that car got into a third vehicle and that drove all away. The car then stopped on Flint Street. All four people inside made a run for it. The driver, a 16-year-old boy, was caught. He's charged with first-degree reckless endangerment. We were also at a three-alarm fire early this morning in the city. That scene, a multi-family home on Portland Avenue just off Norton Street. Our crews on scene are told one person was trapped and rescued from the home, taken to the hospital. A firefighter was also injured. No word yet on how or what their condition is at this hour. Traffic is still blocked off there right around that intersection. We'll bring you more updates all throughout the morning here on RochesterFirst.com in midday when I see you live once again for News 8 at noon. Here's what we know about the discovery of human remains in the woods near Bridgeview Drive next to the Genesee River. This was on the west side of the water. Currently, RPD and the Monroe County Medical Examiner's Office are investigating this as an unattended death. Two people have been arraigned on multiple charges in Rochester City Court in connection to a deadly stabbing in Rochester Friday night on North Street. The victim killed that night, 38-year-old Christopher Austin, died on scene. Authorities say he went to the store and then was confronted by 42-year-old Herbert Montgomery, adding Montgomery started a fight with Austin that led to the stabbing and the victim's death. His family says all this was happening as his significant other was at the hospital giving birth to their child. I lost someone at the hands of someone else, you know, the night before my son was born. And I now have to raise a son who will never know his father. Montgomery, one of the suspects, is charged with murder in the second degree. Police found him Saturday morning and arrested him. He pleaded not guilty at arraignment. Sarah Lee McFadden, 42 years old, who was said to be in a relationship with Montgomery, was also arrested and pleaded not guilty to felony charges of tampering with evidence and hindering prosecution. The Major Crimes Unit at RPD is working another homicide case from the weekend, this one on Sherman Street near Lyle Avenue, where officers found a man in his 30s shot multiple times inside a home Sunday morning. He died 
died at the hospital. Police say at this point, it is clear drugs were being sold from the home, but the investigation will ultimately determine if this murder is linked to any drug trades. No arrests have been made. If you have leads, you're asked to reach out to the Major Crimes Unit, 911, or Crime Stoppers. Happening today, the jury trial begins for the man accused of shooting a man dead this year on Farragut Street. Police say the defendant, in this case, 34-year-old Kwame Acosta, shot two men inside a home in February during a fight. 27-year-old Devarcia Fort died at the scene that day. The other victim survived. Acosta is charged with Fort's murder along with assault and menacing offenses. That trial begins at 9.30. One of the men involved in a fatal shooting three years ago in Rochester is going to learn his fate at sentencing today. 23-year-old Davon Dunbar previously pled guilty to manslaughter. The prosecution says Dunbar did have a role in the death of 22-year-old Brandon McCleary. He was standing on a street corner when he was shot. A group of people opened fire on him. That sentencing is at 930 downtown and the suspect in a double uh, suspected shooter in a double homicide from earlier this year is set to appear in court. 42 year old Hector Ramos Diaz was arrested in Puerto Rico for the murders of Wahid Nazario and Frank Rosario Vasquez. Police say he ambushed the victims as they were walking to their car, firing nearly 20 times outside of a bar on North Goodman Street. This was in February. Ramos Diaz at his arraignment pleaded not guilty to the murder charges. A registered sex offender accused of carrying out a deadly double shooting is expected in court as well. 45-year-old Jamal Robinson previously appeared in court for a bail hearing, and that was denied at that time. Police say he shot and killed 38-year-old Kevin Rigdon and wounded another man in his 40s. This happened in November downtown on St. Paul. Robinson is charged with murder, assault, and weapons crimes. Let's take you inside the Buffalo Huddle. 945, the Bills are back on the field for week two of training camp at St. John Fisher. The team was off Saturday. They were back at it Sunday, and they returned this morning. We've seen a lot among the defensive backs in the rotation. Kyer Elam and rookie Cole Bishop both get a lot of work with the first team. Elam even had an interception Sunday during drills, but you can't read too much into that. Whiteout Tyrell Shavers continues getting reps for the first team offense. He may be separating himself a bit in the battle for the last few slots. Very competitive at Bills camp for receiver. Let's go to Paris and update from the leaderboard. Team USA currently top spot with a total of 12 medals. That's three gold, six silver, three bronze. France in second place, host nation a total of seven. And Australia not far behind with six medals in total as well as the action is back underway again right now in France. Sunrise traffic before we get a final check of your weather headed out here this morning. Our roads are clear and good. Main expressway is around the metro. Nothing to slow you down at this point. See that view there, James? Yeah. We keep waiting. There are some days over the past week we could have had perfect blue skies, yeah. but yeah, the smoke way up high. Yeah, it caused some problems uh, for your views, uh, but may certainly making interesting sunsets and sunrises. Yeah, for sure. That's the thing. If it's perfectly clear skies, yeah. sunrise, sunset, not quite as good. Yeah, right. Uh, so uh, we'll continue to watch that. Temperatures climbing today. No rain for you uh, this afternoon outside of just uh, you got cloud coverage, uh, mid to upper 80s. Tomorrow near 90, we'll forecast 90. Showers, thunderstorms uh, do happen as we get through the afternoon, kind of the heating of the day. And uh, it's just all week long. You've got the heat, you've got the humidity, the uh, air conditioning cranking mm -hmm. and trying to keep those overnight lows down to cool you off there. But uh, yeah, feeling it to finish off the line. Speaking of hot, James going for eight in a row That's with right. that forecast check on the high. Tomorrow. We'll see that here tomorrow morning at sunrise. CBS Mornings coming your way at seven. Eight wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.